When it comes to the Czech Republic, Prague gets all the glory. But the country's second largest city also exists. So let's check out the stadiums and arenas of Brno, Czechia. Sportovní hala Vodova may seem simple from above, but it's pink. You don't see that a lot. But I'm here for it. This humble little venue is used by a wide assortment of clubs of the basketball, handball, futsal, volleyball and floorball variety. The layout is very compact, with some steeply stacked seating along three sides, and the remaining side is reserved for the press and whatnot. There is another arena next door, but it's less than half the size, so we don't need to talk about it. Or even show it. Also next door is Adax Invest Arena, which is alternatively known simply as Serbska, which if my intuition is correct means Serbia. It's named after the neighborhood in which it's located. During the Austro-Hungarian days, there was a large population of Serbian soldiers that were stationed here, hence the name. As you may have been able to tell from the big curving main stand that makes its way around three sides of the ground, this was formerly a multi-purpose stadium, you know, with the running track. It has been transformed into a pseudo-rectangular stadium, although if a first grader was asked to draw a rectangle in class and drew this shape, I'm not sure they'd pass. The transformation occurred in 2001, when the ground was redeveloped significantly prior to the arrival of Zbrojovka Brno, who have played here ever since. There is said to be further improvements made over the coming years. Perhaps it will become a fully-fledged rectangle, with right angles and everything. The club used to play at a much larger venue, one called Stadinza Luzhen Kami, which holds the record for the highest ever attendance in domestic Czech football, around 45,000 when Sporyovka played Sparta Prague in 1967. The ground is now sadly abandoned. It was closed in 2001, when the club moved out, but it has actually since hosted the club once more. It was partially restored for a farewell match for one of the club's former captains. 35,000 people showed up for that. There were plans drawn up to completely renovate this stadium, but clearly that's not happening anytime soon. Nature is slowly taking over the place. Not just the plants and trees, but as you can see, some wild herds of taggers have also returned to the area. Some have suggested turning the stadium into a graffiti artist sanctuary. Others have suggested a graffiti artist concentration camp. Graffiti is divisive after all. Back in the day, track cycling was mostly an outdoor sport that would take place in venues like Bruno Velodrome. Shortly after opening, it hosted the 1969 World Track Cycling Championship. And although its best days are behind it, this velodrome still hosts cycling today. Although I'd imagine that most of the revenue is coming from the non-cycling events that the venue also hosts. Concerts mainly. I wonder if Queen has ever played here. They could have performed the bicycle race song whilst the bicycle race was happening. I'm not sure about Bohemian Rhapsody though, because although it's a crowd pleaser generally, Bohemia is the region where Prague is, Brno is in Moravia. Maybe they could have changed the lyrics to Moravian Rhapsody. But wait a minute, the words Bohemian Rhapsody aren't actually in the lyrics of the song, are they? I'm going off on a tangent now, let's move on. Winning Group Arena, also known as Hala Rondo. If my intuition is correct, that name means Round Hall. It is correct. This is because it is round. The roundness is not the building's only notable feature. The facade is done up in a particular style they call billboardian. It's much like Edwardian, but mostly billboard based. Round Hall is not home to a team that plays with a round ball, but instead a puck. It's home to the biggest ice hockey team in the city, Cometa. Now, if my intuition is correct, Cometa means Comet. It is correct. The club was founded in 1953, just a few years before Sputnik the dawn of the space age. Uh, but actually they only gained that Cometa name in 1994, although they were known as Red Star back in the early days, so, and you know, that's spacey as well. Like many European ice hockey arenas, it includes plenty of standing room, as you can see. Just like with football, that is where the most raucous fans like to congregate. And now for a couple of honorable mentions. Bruno Exhibition Center is huge. It's comprised of multiple halls from Hall A to Hall Z, and has a total capacity of 30,000. But this is for trade shows, car shows, dog... Dog shows. The World Dog Show in 2021, Year of Our Dog, for instance. 
Brno Circuit. This first opened as a street circuit, but the current day track was entirely built in 1987. It was the host of the former Czechoslovakian Grand Prix, the last of which resulted in the deaths of two drivers and two spectators. The event's cancellation was more to do with the changing political climate though. For starters, the name would have been redundant in a matter of years. And I suppose I should mention Atletitsky Stadion CESA, which became the home of athletics in the city after the track was removed from Serbska. So there you have it, those were the stadiums of Brno. As for my favourite, I'm not going to choose a football ground, rather the hall that is round. Thanks for watching, have a good one.